What's going on everybody, Manny Ortiz here, and today I'm going to show you a portrait battle that I did with my buddy Emmanuel Luciano. I was shooting with the Sony a7R 2 he was shooting with the Canon 5D Mark IV, we both had 85mm lenses. And I'm going to show you the straight out of camera photos coming out of the camera, and stay tuned to the end of the video where I'm going to give my opinion on why I think that the Sony mirrorless system does have an advantage over the DSLR counterpart when it comes to portraiture. So stay tuned for that, let's play the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the photo shoot that we did with the Sony a7R 2 and the 5D Mark IV. Some of the more obvious differences between the files that were coming out of the camera, obviously the Canon rendered them a lot warmer than the Sony, but it doesn't tell us the whole story. So what I'm gonna do for you guys is leave a link down below in the description box, two raw files, one from each camera so you guys can edit and just play with them and just see what these cameras are all about. This video, however, is not about which camera has better image quality, but which one gives you the better experience when shooting portraiture? Shooting alongside a manual and the Fighting Mark IV just reminded me of the features on the Sony that just made my life so much easier. These three features are the electronic viewfinder, the eye autofocus, and the image stabilization. In my experience, these features just make the, the entire process so much easier. Let me explain. The electronic viewfinder has completely changed my photography. I'm not saying I'm a better photographer because of it, but we all have to acknowledge that the benefits of an electronic viewfinder, right? When you're shooting natural light portraiture, you see the photo before you take it. Now, when you're shooting with flash, that's when the advantage kind of goes away because the electronic viewfinder does not give you the real-time exposure and doesn't measure the flash power, okay? But when you're shooting natural light, you see the photo before you take it in the eye cup, in the, in the viewfinder, you see it. So before you take even one shot, 
you adjust everything to make the photo look perfect already before you take your first shot. While a manual with the Fighting Mark IV has to take a shot to test the exposure. If it's good, he can keep shooting. If not, he has to take a couple more shots to make sure he gets the right exposure. And then when we change lighting scenarios, he has to do the same thing again. Versus me, I make all the adjustments beforehand. And you see the benefit there. Obviously, my workflow becomes more consistent, more efficient, uh, shooting in that way. And I have to say, I mean, the electronic viewfinder is, I mean, most people love them, some people hate them. And I, I respect you if you don't, everyone has their own preference, but the electronic viewfinder definitely gives me an advantage when shooting portraiture. One of the features that gives me advantage over Emmanuel with the DSLR is the eye autofocus feature. Now, I've talked about this so much because it works and I get perfect focus on the eye, especially shooting at wide apertures. You know, that's one thing, sometimes you can miss focus. You don't miss focus. I shoot with 1.4, you're gonna get perfect focus on that eye. But you know, the real benefit to this eye autofocus, in my opinion, is when changing composition. So when Emmanuel's changing composition, he's shooting portrait mode, and then he goes to landscape. Every time you do that, and if you're shooting single point, which most people do, you're gonna have to change your focus point every single time. So you're shooting this way, when you go to portrait mode, you're switching your focus point, and you have to switch it over to the composition that you're using. Or when I'm shooting with A7R2, I, all I have to do is hold down the button and it's gonna track her eye, whether she does this or I'm moving back or back and forth. That little box is gonna be around her eye and it's gonna track her. So if I wanna change the composition, bam, that little box is gonna follow her. I go back this way, that little box will follow her eye. It's just an amazing feature. I, if, if you've never tried it, try it. I'm telling you, it, it works and um, it's amazing and I feel like and even Emmanuel, I talked to Emmanuel and even he said that, hey, like that's not fair, you know? And that's coming from him, he's a DSLR shooter. So so I truly believe that eye autofocus definitely gives you an advantage and makes your life just so much easier when shooting portraits. Now the third reason why I feel like I have an advantage with my Sony A7R2, and it's something that I kind of took for granted because all my cameras have it, and that's in-body image stabilization. Now I don't really shoot much in like really dim areas, but obviously you saw in this, in this portrait shoot, there was no sun, so we were shooting under a bridge. There was barely any light, which meant that, you know, we gotta bump our ISO, right? He couldn't lower his shutter speed too much because he would get motion blur, uh, and then that forced him to raise his ISO. Me with the Sony A7R II, since I have image stabilization, I was able to lower my shutter speed and keep my ISO down, and out of the two, I had the cleaner image because I had in-body image stabilization. And we were talking in the shoot, we, we both kind of agreed like, hey, these are some advantages, like it's it's almost not fair. And you wanna know the crazy part, guys? He actually bought an A7R II the other day. That just goes to show you that these features are not gimmicks at all. I mean, if you use them, they can make your life so much easier and it would allow you to focus more on the composition, on the person giving the model direction, capturing that perfect emotion, expression from your model and worry less about changing focus point do i have the right exposure um yeah guys i'm telling you right now um for portraiture i think sony definitely has an advantage over the dslr counterpart and uh that's something that we kind of mutually agreed on you know all right everybody thank you so much for watching and if you're a dslr shooter i would love to have a friendly discussion with you down in the comment section uh, you go ahead and tell me why you prefer using a DSLR for your portraiture and why. And, you know, it's just great to have different people's opinion. You know, everyone has a different preference. So I don't care what anyone shoots with. You know what I mean? We're all photographers. We all just here to create some art. So, um, yeah, just keep that in mind. And uh, let's just, you know, continue building this community. If you're new here, please consider subscribing as I'm going to be all my content is going to be coming over to this channel. So uh, stay tuned.